chance of winter weather in the forecast. It brings back thoughts of last year's ice storm. Mm, not good thoughts either. Mm. It has been a year since the storm knocked out power to more than 600,000 homes and businesses across the state. News on 6 anchor Craig Day talks to one of the many people left in the dark and in the deep freeze new at 6. Craig? Well, Terry, the ice storm brings up a lot of memories that many people will just soon forget. But one family says the storm brought up memories from long ago, and they're blessed because of it. People who say there's a bright side even to the darkest of days. As a photography enthusiast, Mark Canterbury captured both the brutal reality and beauty of last December's ice storm in dozens of photos. I've lived in Tulsa all of my 60 plus years and I've never seen uh, such devastation from an ice storm. Like many people, the family was without power for a week. Canterbury's 90-year-old mother-in-law, Aline O'Quinn, had just come to Tulsa to live with him and his wife. Just a few days later, the ice storm hit. You've never seen any ice storm like that before? Well, not that big. I had a pretty good one down in my house, but not it wasn't as big, you know, didn't reach as far. The power outage meant time around the fireplace and wondering how O'Quinn would cope. It wasn't hard on me. It was hard on them. Because <laughs> they put me over there in a chair and I stayed there. <laughs> They the one had the trouble. <laughs> we were pretty shocked with the, all the power being out, all the electricity being out, television, kitchen appliances, and everything. But we noticed Mama Aline had a little spark in her eye. A spark because the power outage brought back many memories from her rural Louisiana upbringing. During the ice storm, she told stories of not having electricity until she was in her 40s. I'd lived a man your day down there with that. Electricity. So we all gathered around the fireplace in the dark and with candle lights and with the glow of the flame and with the uh, conversations that we were getting into, you could see a smile on our face over it. While many people weren't smiling, and even this family says it wouldn't want to experience another ice storm like last December's, they're still thankful it prompted many family memories and created new ones. It didn't bother me. Of course, I had good hands waiting on me, you see. Canterbury has some great photos of the ice storm uh, that he shot from all around his house. We have those for everybody on newson6.com. Just look in the web versions of my story. Yeah, good memories or not, we don't want another <laughs> yeah, one. Exactly. All right. Making the best of a bad situation. Yeah, thank you, Craig. You bet. Well,